Hello and uh, welcome to the showcase of our developer portal. We're very happy to present uh, our portal to you. Our portal is, um, well, one could call it our digital store for integrations of uh, the products and services that we offer in the area of, uh, of open banking. And um, it, the, our portal really is a means to an end. It's really an, uh, an application to support our strategy. And uh, that's also the reason why um, a number of things in our portal typically set us apart from other portals. For example, um, we cater to a double audience, we always say. Yeah? We will see that we have business solutions and technical integrations on our developer portal. The goal there is that we want to support our uh, partners or potential partners, both from a business perspective as from a technical perspective. So in the business solution, a business developer can find applications of uh, how to integrate um, our, um, our integration methods, our APIs or uh, other integration methods, so our products and services, and he can really make sure that he or she has a clear view what can be the added value for his business. So it's really focused on a business audience. Um, that's also the reason that we have, uh, we are uh, KBC, we are um, a bank insurance uh, company within Belgium, amongst others. This is really aimed at our Belgian audience. And we have a lot of SMEs in, in Belgium. And a lot of those, as a, for a lot of those uh, business people in SMEs, having all the information in English is a hurdle. So that is one of the reasons why everything related to business is also available in Dutch on our developer portal. On the other hand, of course, we have all the technical information that is required for technical IT developers, to state it like that. And that I think, uh, Marcos, you're the best one that we placed uh, for, uh, to guide us through there. So indeed, as Katrina already mentioned, we have a double audience, business solution technical integrations. When we go to our business solutions catalog, you can see all the business solutions we offer. There is even some filtering possibilities provided. If you are interested in a specific domain, you can choose in the filters we provide here. Let's take the loan solutions we offer. And I'll just pick one more, perhaps the green energy loan. We, of course, when we click on the tile, we go to the detail page of this business solution. So this is the page containing all the details about the solution. As you can see, there is some general information. There is some information about the audience we target. And then, and this is a very important part, there's also, we also mentioned the different kind of integrations you can use to set up uh, this solution. And even indicating whether or not much IT effort is needed. So for this, the QR flyer, for example, these are the different steps you need to take. And you can see here, there's no IT integration needed. So indeed, it's, it's the step that the, the, our partner needs to do to get the integration set up. When we go, as you can see, we have four kinds of integrations possible for uh, the loan solution. Huh? And if we go to the last one, that's the most IT integrated is, of course, the API, the complete API uh, integration. So these are the, the four integration types. There's some information about the charges, the contract needs or requirements. And then indeed uh, a, a partner who is already using uh, this solution. And then the next step, if you're, you are convinced that uh, this is a, a solution for you, uh, you actually can go or cl by clicking on the files beneath you can go to the uh, technical information pages. So this is the information about the API. If I click on this one, I'm now in the different catalog. Eh? So we started in the business solutions catalog. Now we connect through the technical integrations. And this information is mostly aimed at the more technical uh, people who are going to really set up the integration. We have all kinds of information here. Uh, the first step is indeed uh, uh, limited uh, functional 
review what uh, bit repeating or a shorter version of the business solution details but what is really important uh, is the reference documentation why because on this page we actually put the swagger so a technical person can really see the in and output fields voila and even here uh, you have the examples but here even there is uh, extra details on uh, which are the parameters or which kind of uh, info you need to really put into the the field so for all the endpoints there is a documentation on this on this page i will come back uh, to this page later on for the triad functionality another step is the functional documentation just as I mentioned before, uh, you can uh, check in the model which kind of input fields are required. And here is a document which elaborates even more on the in and output parameters of the API. The next step is the EULA integration. This contains the contracts or the terms and conditions you will need to agree upon to be able to use the integration. And um, last but not least, everybody who wants to integrate an API probably would like to do some testing on forehand. Uh, sandbox is uh, a way of doing this, but for using a sandbox or uh, doing some testing via sandbox, you really need to have uh, some things put up, like you need to have certificates in place. So some, some kind of effort or amount of effort is needed for this. Not all our partners are ready or willing to do this uh, straight away. So well, based upon feedback we got from our partners, we provided an extra kind of test possibility. And then I'm going back to the Swagger files. So I already mentioned uh, this part here, try out. Well, so for all the endpoints, we have provided this button uh, try out so this will give you the opportunity to do a limited test but without having to do any kind of uh, yeah, setup or administration uh, to be able to do this see the code here and even we have provided some examples output examples beneath Yeah, I think indeed that, uh, that you mentioned it also, uh, Marto, uh, the try it out function is very, uh, very important to us because especially it's, uh, as you mentioned, it's coming from the feedback from our, uh, from our partners. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, actually how we always try to improve now what we have, right? It's, uh, we don't always stay within KBC or from our partners, but really get a broader view in order to make sure that we spot trends that we can get external uh, that we can really get an outside in look on what we do and how we can uh, improve and those elements and the, the the feedback from from our partners from our sales uh, it and business from uh, our own customer journey mapping but also from the export board those are really our um, guiding principles then in order to uh, to make changes or major changes on the developer portal right Yes, indeed, Catherine. And as you mentioned, I'm showing right now uh, the translation we provided to make it easier for Dutch speaking uh, contacts to read all the information we provide. So the text about the green energy loan that I showed you before is now translated or is visible in a, in a Dutch uh, version. One of the other major topics we already we always try to focus on is making the onboarding on a developer portal more easy for our partners. So one of the things we provided, I am now logged in as a single user, but if I go and look in my profile, I can see what are the next steps that I need to take. Yeah? So you can see there is a green button here. I already activated activated my account. The next step that I could take is to register my company and then if I have registered the company I indeed could uh, request integrations to be set up. Another big thing that we noticed after our first experience and the feedback we've got from our partners is that in some cases it's not really the, the partner uh, itself or the, the company who's going to use the integration itself who is doing the registration on the portal 
uh, in some cases they themselves hire an like an IT company to do the setup for them. So we have provided in the section my company. So if I want to register a company, I click on the button register my company. But the first question I get is, uh, am I doing the registration for my own company? Uh, or am I an employee from a company who is going to do or going to realize the registration for the company? Uh, the business company who is going to use the integration. Yeah, yeah, and that's indeed also something that we got uh, as a feedback. Eh? So um, I think that's kind of the tour, the, the highlight that we wanted to uh, to tell you, or definitely from my side, I think, Marco, maybe you want yeah, to... Yeah, just on the technical part, I want to mention something that's really important from our mm -hmm. perspective, is that we uh, set up the, our portal is a, a SaaS solution. Huh? Mm -hmm. And mostly we, we, it's gateway independent, mm -hmm. so we don't need to have to have connection to a specific gateway, which makes uh, yeah, it easier for us. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Well, I believe there is still a Q&A. We will be happy to answer uh, your questions and either way, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Katrin. <laughs> so you have mentioned in the demo the expert bro board very briefly and I'd like to ask you to tell us more about that because I find it exemplary it's like absolutely as a business person I find it incredible that you have this mindset at KBC that you are really methodical and intentional about listening to outside opinions mm -hmm. and then you actually execute on it rather than just having this idea. So how do you do that? Is the expert board specifically for the API program? And in what way do they influence the API program? Well, the expert board started, uh, we started the expert board or really, um, especially for the API program. That's uh, first of all, uh, to answer that part of your question. Um, we have a number of um, methodologies that we use regarding innovation, for example, uh, to make sure that we get outside knowledge in. Uh, but specifically for the developer portal for the API program, because it was very new to us, uh, we, um, we installed the expert board. And it was really the idea to make sure that we get outside of the fish tank, that we get, um, it's, there are uh, more business oriented people, marketing people even in the expert board, but also some really technical uh, people with a really technical background there. And um, we uh, come together like four times a year we ask them to, to, to join us <laughs> four times a year and we ask them a, a quite a wide range of questions actually um there are um we have done for example we have launched something which is called our partner hub and it's the screening of our own apis um eat your own dog food kind of uh, stuff in because of uh, the different types of partners as we said uh of the digital maturity of our partners to to um to be able to serve them as well. And we make this, this front end uh, on our own application. And that is something that we also ran by them in order to see, you know, how, uh, what do you think about it? And um, also one of the questions we had for them was, uh, we, in the end, we would like our partners to become also, to help them to become digitally mature enough also to integrate really our APIs in their um, distribution channels. Um, and we were thinking, like, if we do something like this partner hub, would it not be a hurdle? And will people not just linger in that partner hub rather than going a step further and implementing the APIs? And they were like, no, because most likely they said not because um, it's really a different audience. And if you work together with a digital mature company, they will want to implement really the API. They will not be happy with your partner hub. So uh, they were really intrigued by it because it's it's also yeah, it's a very good exercise to implement your own APIs. <laughs> um, but uh, they, uh, they they really supported us there. And that's why we went forward with it. We also uh, changed a number of things based on their feedback. But that is, for example, something that we now discuss with them and that they get a sneak peek on. Uh, but also different, um, we also asked them different questions. And now recently we've also broadened the scope because we believe it's so valuable every time we come together it's so valuable for for us and luckily also for them because it's like an, an, a, it's really an uh, it's an open um open discussion uh we don't pay them because then they lose their um independence 
we we try to take well to take care of them um but also for them it's very interesting to hear the other one's opinions and to have that open discussion and to uh, to be able to get a sneak peek to test things out and now recently we've also um, broadened our scope beyond the developer portal beyond the api program and we've asked them also um input for uh kate which is the uh the kbc virtual assistant that we recently launched mm -hmm. so we are broadening uh, really that scope because we noticed that getting really that outside in view that feedback from experts in their field is so so extremely valuable mm -hmm. and is there a separate channel for specifically developer feedback on the portal uh as in the in the portal itself mm -hmm. there is a uh, there is a channel for feedback as in the contact form um there is not a specific channel for for developers but there is indeed a, an uh, a form on the portal to get feedback and we invite indeed or we try to invite as much as possible developers or let it be business developers it developers to give us feedback on the on the developer portal yes absolutely mm -hmm. um there is a question from claudio how do you validate a company in your developer portal uh, as in that they uh, that we partner with them, that they can integrate our uh, our integrations. I assume um, this is also what I see. I think so. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, we have a number of uh, we, the things we today we offer on our developer portal are um, not what, what I tend to call Lego blocks. So it's not really small uh, small APIs like, for example, what is the age of someone or is someone older than 18, but it's really full service, uh, KBC financial products. So it's really a loan or it's an asset financing or it's an insurance. So from that perspective, they, we have to, um, validate them on different things. On uh, one hand, the, the, the business, our business partner that will offer our products has to comply with certain um, legal requirements. For example, if they want to sell certain or if you want to distribute certain problems, uh, not problems, certain products, um, that is something that we then have to validate. Of course, they have to be registered with the uh, FSMA, which is the, um, the legal guardian here in, um, in Belgium. But on the other hand, what we also do is we do a um, we're a bank and we also do a, um, a fraud screening. So we uh, want to make sure that, um, but let it be IT partners or business partners, um, that partners we work with, that we cooperate with, are um, fraud free, to state it like that. So uh, that uh, we can make sure that we know and that all our partners know that if they work with us, that, that, uh, that it's uh, normally a fraud free environment and that the partners we cooperate with are there for the long run. That's, uh, that's something that we think is uh, quite important to have that, that trust base to, to cooperate. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Katrin. You're welcome. Okay.